How do I convert my local time to GMT? Hello and welcome everyone. Today, we are going to learn how to convert local time to GMT, Greenwich Mean Time. This skill is particularly useful when scheduling meetings or events across different time zones, or simply communicating with friends, family, or colleagues who live in different parts of the world. What is GMT? Greenwich Mean Time, often abbreviated as GMT, is the mean solar time at the Royal Observatory in Greenwich, London, which was formerly used as a time reference for various purposes, including timekeeping and clocks. Nowadays, it's often replaced by Coordinated Universal Time UTC, but the terms are sometimes used interchangeably, especially in informal contexts. Identifying your local time zone Before converting your local time to GMT, it's important to identify your local time zone. You can usually find this information in the settings of your phone or computer, or by doing a quick web search. Remember, your local time zone will be expressed in terms of being ahead of or behind GMT. For example, New York operates on Eastern Standard Time (EST), which is GMT minus 5 hours in Standard Time and GMT minus 4 hours during Daylight Saving Time. Converting to GMT. Once you've identified your local time zone, converting your local time to GMT is straightforward. If your local time zone is behind GMT, like New York, you add the time difference to your current local time. If your local time zone is ahead of GMT, like Paris, you subtract the time difference from your local time. For example, if it is 12 o'clock noon in New York, est, during standard time, it is 5 p.m. in GMT, since we add the 5 hours difference. If it is 12 o'clock noon in Paris, which is GMT plus 1, it would be 11 a.m. Greenwich Mean Time, since we subtract the one-hour difference. Remember to account for daylight saving time if it's observed in your location. During daylight saving time, the time difference to GMT usually changes. It's reduced by one hour if your location is behind GMT and increased by one hour if your location is ahead of GMT. Checking the conversion. After you've done the conversion, it's a good idea to check it against an online world clock or time zone converter to ensure accuracy. These tools can be easily found with a quick web search and are highly reliable. And that's it. You have successfully learned how to convert your local time to GMT. Hopefully, this makes scheduling across different time zones easier for you. Remember, the key steps are identifying your local time zone, understanding whether it's ahead or behind GMT, doing the math, and checking your work. Thanks for watching, and here's to smooth time conversions in the future.